everyone, welcome back. So I'm excited for today's lip tint video because it claims to be mask proof and transfer proof. It is Roman's Blur Fudge Tints. So out of a total of eight shades, I got five of them. Before I do start talking about the packaging, I will be doing a swatch test, a mask test, and a transfer test as well um, with my where's this? my wine glass. Online, they advertise it as that, transfer proof. So I will be doing that. So I got these shades in number one, two, three, six, and seven. So recently I did the Dewey Faux Water Tint Lip Tint Review. And it's this product right here. This is the Blur Fudge Tint. And they're pretty much the same packaging. Except the Dewey Faux is definitely a little bit more glossy. Whereas this one is a lot more matte. Very slim and compact. Once you open it, you have a transparent stem. Very slim and sleek brush. Right off the bat, it does look and feel a little bit stiff. The brush rounds out at the end and it tapers from the bottom to the top. So while I was watching these, the first thing I noticed is the scent. It has this vanilla shea butter scent, but it definitely does smell a little bit more like vanilla. It actually smells quite good, so personally it doesn't bother me. It reminds me of Peri Peri's Ink Matte Blur, this product right here. This is a new one I haven't opened it yet, but anyway. Um, but yeah, to my surprise, it feels lightweight for the gradients look. And it does apply a little bit, um, not as pigmented as I thought it would. I have to layer it a bit. Other than that, it does apply very smoothly and definitely I can already see that blur effect. So for this color, I would say it's a peachy pink color. It does have a little bit of, I wouldn't say orange, but I would say coral undertones. feels quite moisturizing. almost kind of has this creamy texture. So now you can see the color is definitely a lot more visible now. It's still your peachy pink. You can see a lot of the coral undertones. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do the swatch test. I have a feeling it's going to transfer. So you can kind of tell the color has definitely rubbed off a lot. There is a little bit of a stain, but there's pretty much nothing there. I'm a little bit concerned about the mask proof and the glass transfer, but I'm going to do that for the second lip tint. Quite a flowery pink, I probably would wear this in the spring or summer. It's a very nice pop of pink. It's a little bit difficult to blend, so you gotta work fast. I guess the, the advantage of that is that the product will not be able to move around. It can be a little bit difficult to blur out the product, despite its name, but yeah, if you work fast and you focus on one area like your cupid's bow, if you apply some product there and then you smudge it, I guess that would work, um, but it doesn't really smudge as far as you would want it to go. Okay, the moment that we've been waiting for, or at least I've been waiting for, is the mask test. And I have my handy dandy mask here. Um, I'm gonna have. Oops, I'm actually really nervous because I have a feeling that this is just gonna transfer. But we'll see how it goes. Um, let me speed up this process of drying. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, 
This is the second spot. It's just not, it's just not gonna happen, buddy. Okay, so I think that speaks for itself. I don't wanna reapply this, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the glass transfer for the next shade. Very beautiful red pink color. The gradient actually has more hues of pink, um, but it's definitely a really good pop of color. You can see the hues of red, which makes a very, very beautiful color. Never go wrong with a good red, and this is definitely one of them. A very flattering red that I think would match a lot of skin tones. I like how the blur color looks like when I'm blurring it on my cupid's bow or like on my bottom lips. It gives this very fleshy pink color, which kind of just gives a nice gradient look to your look to your lips overall. Even with that, it applies evenly and there's no discoloration. Okay, the second moment that we've all been waiting for. Moving on to the glass transfer, I'm going to be taking my little water break here. And we'll see how this goes. You've got to be kidding me. What? Do you see this girl? Where is it? You see it, don't you? Okay. You've got a classic mauve pink. The green look is kind of like a baby pink, baby mauve pink color, I would say. This color nails it. It's definitely a very flattering mauve pink color. Out of all the mauve pinks that I've tried, this is probably the one that I can remember the most or will remember. I can definitely see myself using this color a lot. A very pink color, very soft and subtle on your lips. Now we've got a fuchsia pink. It's definitely giving very youthful vibes. Okay, so now time to mix these guys up. I'm going to go in with number one. Actually, a lot of good colors to choose from. I'm going to have to go read number... Number two. Number two. Gorgeous. Okay, so my final thoughts on this product, let's start with the pros. The blur effect is really good. It definitely gives you a very soft, sultry, blurred look, basically. I wasn't really too much of a fan of the blurring ability. It's hard to blur, but it actually helps you control the blur better because it stays in place and you can you work your way from there, if that makes sense. I also like the formula, it makes my lips look very soft and moisturized. Some downsides, I would say maybe the scent might distract people or some people might not like the scent because it is a little bit strong. On my lips, I can't really smell it. Why? It does linger for some time. And of course, most evidently, it does transfer on the mask or on a glass. So yeah, we're just gonna 
let that be. As for the moisturization, it feels like there's something creamy on my lips. You definitely can feel it. After some time, it does feel a little bit drying. I probably just do a good lip prepping before applying this. Pretty satisfied with the shades that I chose. So that's all for my review. I hope that you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.